And lots of chatter about this tonight mm -hmm. as we look to find out where exactly the seaweed that's approaching Florida will go. It's not just a little bit of seaweed. We're talking about a lot here. As Fox 4 reported last night, it is called the sargassum seaweed. It is a non-toxic brown algae that occurs every year, and it is very little threat to us here in southwest Florida. So Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley actually joins us to break it down where the seaweed could go in the coming weeks and how it actually has some benefits to it too. You likely continue to hear about this floating in the Atlantic Ocean, a 5,500 mile seaweed sargasm belt. I want to remind you Florida Gulf Coast University Water School professor Dr. Barry Rosen said yes, it will get into the Gulf of Mexico. But listen to Dr. Rosen here. He says Southwest Florida residents have little to worry about. It's been around for probably a decade. Very common in the Caribbean Sea, and it's also a native to the Gulf of, uh, you know, our Gulf of Mexico, but it doesn't really get to the kind of abundances that we see in the Caribbean. Okay, there's that context. But you might be saying, I'm seeing these scary looking pictures of seaweed piling up on beaches. Just take a pause. Those are from the past. They're from Mexico or Florida's East Coast. But take a look at pictures from the same time, 2019 in Naples. That was a bad sargasm year. And there's only a thin line on the beach, some floating in the water. But where does it all go? It all depends on the currents. Large slicks of seaweed grow in the Sargasso Sea and then push south up along the Canary Current, pushing it up along Africa's coastline and then west up along the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt. That's where seaweed feeds on things like Amazon runoff and Saharan dust and then moves west. That's where it can land on Caribbean beaches and enter the Gulf of Mexico. Once there, it's up to the wind and the loop current. Now, majority of the time, it pushes towards Texas or ends up stuck in eddies or pushes up along the Florida Keys and if it gets around the Keys the Gulf Stream quickly pushes it north but with an east wind it can wash up on some of Florida's east coast beaches. We could get some of the seaweed on southwest Florida beaches. Dr. Rosen says it's possible we won't as well. For example Fort Myers Beach told me Thursday they're just monitoring the bloom but Rosen says we will for sure continue to deal with the red tide and that is what we should be prepared for. In studio, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.